Everything had been perfect throughout my labour. But when she was born, she was blue and not breathing and they rushed her to the special care baby unit. Um, it was traumatic. I kept blaming myself, like if I had done something different or asked for help, then maybe my baby wouldn't be lying brain damaged in an incubator. I've got this picture of when I first saw my baby Summer for the first time and it's like a broken picture. She was like purple or like a dark purpley blue colour and the MRI scan confirmed that there was brain damage and this doctor took us into a room and told us that my daughter would never feed properly and basically go away and deal with it. And there was no support whatsoever. I didn't know what cerebral palsy was. I knew it was a brain injury, but I had no idea. And uh, I was looking at this poor little boy in an incubator, thinking, what's your future holding? So when my baby was about six months old, my auntie, who's a nurse, she said we need to get an investigation done. So we knew that Boyce Turner were experts in cerebral palsy claims. I googled and Boyce Turner came up. I remember being so nervous and uh, spoke to reception, gargled <laughs> all this stuff out. Uh, she put me through to a lady called Julie Marsh and I just remember telling her everything. She listened to me, she was so sympathetic and reassuring. So when parents contact us, we know it's because the outcome hasn't been what was expected. But quite often, events are a bit of a blur and it can be difficult to piece together what's happened. What we want to do is help people go through that process and put all those pieces together. So it wasn't until the hospital formally wrote to us admitting that we'd been completely wronged and they were responsible for my daughter's devastating injury. But I was able to start to forgive myself. Parents often come to us thinking that they're to blame for what's happened. So when we get that first expert report and it says that it wasn't anything they did that caused their child's injury, it's so liberating, it lets them move on. Um, knowing that they're not the ones responsible for what's happened. From start to finish, they have been professional, kind, explained the process every step of the way, and been empathetic, responsive. They've won my daughter an award that now means she'll be looked after with the correct care and in the right accommodation for the rest of her life. We know that financial compensation at the conclusion of a claim can really relieve the pressure on a family. It gives them choice, it gives them certainty for the future. It's just life changing. It's been absolutely phenomenal from the point where the hospital admitted liability. The support team that we have now got on full time is just brilliant. They manage support in the school, his respite centres and mid-morning care. Winning the case meant that we could move to the sort of house that would give him scope to be able to move around indoors and we were able to adapt it accordingly. Boyce Turner always made sure there was someone there to help us if we needed and it's made our lives dramatically different in terms of being able to be a couple again and not just sort of parents of a special needs son.